Hello and welcome to Automation Platform Next. In this lesson I'm going to show you how to add two tags to the project we created in Lesson 1. After having opened my project, click on the I.O. Data Server model located in the Project Explorer window on the left. Then double click on the tag list. The tag list window are open within the workspace. OK, now click the Add New Tag command located at the top left of the IO Data Server ribbon. A property window will display in order to add a new tag to the list. Now enter tag 1 as its name and then enter my new tag as a description. And then define the tags model type as digital. In the enum string field, we can associate a string according to the value that the tag will obtain. In this case, we'll enter on and off. The IO physical address field is used to enter the memory area's physical address of the device to be connected to, such as a PLC, for instance. However, in order to do this, we'll have to define at least one communication driver to use in the project. For now, just click Cancel to return to the tag property window. When enabling the retentative checkbox, the tag will retain its value by being saved on file for the next project startup. At this point, click on OK to finish. And there we have our first new tag. We will create our second tag in the same way. Therefore, click New Tag to open the property window and then add Tag 2 as its name and we define the model type as analog in the date and its data type as let's see integer 32 to finish click on ok and as you can see we now have two tags tag 1 and tag 2 on the tag list the tag property window can be called whenever needed by clicking the property tab on the far right like this Automation Next also allows you to display the tag list in grid mode or in hierarchical mode like this. To save the tag, simply click Save in the Project Explorer window. Thank you for watching.